was unveiled on the South Bank, opposite the Houses of Parliament, in February 2008. Being a British artist uh, working in London, uh, I am extraordinarily privileged to have such a wonderful location, you know, such a prominent uh, location being Queen's Walk. The, having the sculpture next to the river means that there's a lot of space to play in. You don't get uh, this space anywhere else in London. I think that the light of the river helps or adds to the, to the movement that is conveyed. Uh, you can see the sculpture from the other side of the river, from the Westminster Bridge, from over, over the uh, London Eye. And I also like the dialogue that's created with uh, Dali sculptures. So I'm a big fan of uh, Dali, and I think it's, uh, again, a wonderful privilege to be exhibiting next to him. One critic described it as combining a grand theatricality with the gentle intimacy of two figures silently dancing. The dance is a vibrant representation of two bodies in motion, caught in a passing step, Two anonymous figures are depicted through the movement of their clothes to show a graceful movement brought to completion. Reminiscent of the depiction of movement in futurist sculpture, particularly the work of Umberto Boccioni, the dance presents a sculptural image of dynamism and rhythmic balance. Sepian Blue stands out as the most complex sculptural figure in Azam's early sculptural output. A series of interlocking positive and negative forms create a monumental relationship between two figures. Decorative elements suggest an architectural setting combined with hieratic gestures and body parts that look back to the representation of the human form in 20th century painting. The close massed form of the sculpture's sorrow embodies an allegorical figure of human emotion. A hooded figure huddles, the abstract surface enhancing the feeling of protectiveness and inner strength. The form suggests perhaps a female figure and a sense of maternal fortitude. An allegorical figure, sorrow, is also an object of contemplation onto which we may project our own concerns and memories. An anonymous bus seems lost in contemplation. Dreamlike thoughts emanate from the smoothly modelled head, caught and transmitted by the thick locks of hair. The features are both sharp, reminiscent of Art Deco sculpture, and blurred in a way to suggest movement or perhaps even a type of blindness. Blue's Tavana is the most directly representational, but is also the most intriguing of Azam's sculptures. If one thing can be said about Azam, it is that he is committed to his art. Barely two years after returning to painting, a second exhibition of a new extensive sequence of works titled Anatomica opened at the County Hall Gallery before touring to New York. Here the artist is really hitting his stride. This new exhibition centers on the Anatomica series a sequence of works which mark the creative fulfilment of his fascination with the human form and signals a profound maturation of Azam's artistic expression. Although more contemplative in atmosphere than Azam's earlier paintings, the Anatomica series are nonetheless imprinted with Azam's stylistic signature, which is largely defined by abstract representation of the human form. A masterly technical control of colour and line infuses his paintings of bodily shapes and gestures with a profound emotional intimacy and intensity. The sensuality, fragility, violence and mystery of human experience are powerfully conveyed by Azam's very painterly concern with formal sophistication. Azam's work holds no boundaries and later this year he'll lead a group of artists into space to experience zero gravity. This is an incredible project that provides a unique experience in which artists can explore their creativity, a real artistic leap into the unknown. It's a tremendous opportunity to push the boundaries of artistic practice. 
Azam is currently undertaking a selection of important global commissions. Each of these will convey the underlying philosophy of his work, democratization, humanity, and expression. <laughs>